Now we come to uh, multiple choice question number 12. It says the magnetic field strength in a permanent magnet is weaker and in the opposite direction inside than outside. Choice B, stronger and in the opposite direction inside and outside. Choice C, stronger and in the same direction inside and outside. And then weaker and in the same direction inside and outside. So let's look at the magnetic field of a magnet. A typical magnet will have a south pole and a north pole. And magnetic field lines will come out of the north pole, wind around, and come back into the south pole. So the field lines look like this. There's one straight one, and there's another one that goes like that, comes out, goes back in, and then goes inside. Another one goes out, goes back in, goes inside. Then there are ones that sort of leak out from the side. They go, and then they go inside. And then same for the top up here, okay? They go out, they go back in, they go out, they go back in, and there's one that goes back, that, there's one that goes straight in. What happens to the magnetic field lines inside? Well, they basically make a complete circle. So whatever is going goes back in and then goes straight back this way. And then this one goes out, goes out, comes back in, goes straight, then goes that way. And then this one goes this way, straight, straight, straight. And this one just simply goes straight. This one simply just goes straight out. And then this one completes that circle. So basically everything is coming out, making a complete circle, winding back inside like that. Now notice how the fields inside are all headed in the opposite direction as the fields outside. Okay, they're all opposite because it has to make a complete circle, it has to come out, come this way, right? It has to go to the left and then inside it has to go to the right. So the magnetic field inside the wire, inside the magnet, has to be opposite direction. How about the strength? Which one is stronger? Well, look how the magnetic field lines here are all like pretty bunched up. They're close together. The density of field lines is much stronger inside the magnet. As they go out, they start diverging. They're farther away from each other. Whenever field lines diverge, they're farther away, they get weaker. So Inside of the magnet, the field lines are stronger, they're more converged, they're more bunched up, and they are in the opposite direction as the field outside. So what is the right choice? The magnetic field strength in the permanent magnet is, okay, a stronger and in the same direction inside and outside? No. Stronger and in the opposite direction inside and outside. So the choice is B, okay? The field is stronger inside the magnet and it is in the opposite direction than the outside, okay? Now, what if this question had asked about electric fields? What if instead of a North Pole, you had a positive charge? Imagine you had some kind of chamber like this and then you had a positive charge here, right? Imagine some chamber you put the positive charge would represent like the North Pole and the negative charge would represent the South Pole. What would the electric field lines of that system look like? Well, it would come out of the positive charge, right? Then go in the negative. It's very similar looking, right? It would go like that, go like that. So. Outside looks very similar to the magnetic field lines. Electric field lines are looking similar. Same thing here, like that. Same thing here, like that. Then it loops, loops around, loops around, loops around, okay? How about inside, what do they look like? Inside of that, let's say, chamber. What does the electric field lines look like? Well, they go out of the positive, they go towards the negative. So like that, like that, like that, you see? And then there's, of course, one that comes out and then goes back in like that. So what do we learn here from here? Well, it's different than the magnetic field lines. The magnetic field lines go, come out, and make a complete loop inside of the magnet. They go back this way. Here, the electric field lines come out. They go like this. Here, they also come out of the positive and they go towards the negative. 
So the um, electric field lines always come out of the positive and go towards the negative. They don't make a complete loop. So which one of these choices would be the correct answer? The electric field lines inside between the two dipoles, these are known as dipoles, the electric field lines between the two dipoles are stronger, but they are in the same direction as the outside. You see, outside is this way. They are in the same direction. They're like this, okay? So instead of this being opposite direction, they are stronger and in the same direction. So which one would be the choice? The electric field strength in a dipole charge system would be what? Stronger and in the same direction inside and outside. So the choice would have been C if the question had been the electric field lines of a dipole, right? Magnetic field lines are opposite because they make a complete loop, okay? So that shows you the differences between how magnetic fields behave and electric fields behave, okay? Thank you very much.